This letter was written from Saeed to our daughter Rebecca on her eighth birthday. It's third birthday without her daddy. Um, last time she got to see Saeed was when she was five, and so it's just um, it's a expression of what's going on in Saeed's heart towards Rebecca on this special day. But it's just a hard day, but also as it approaches the two-year anniversary of him in prison. My dearest Rebecca Grace, happy eighth birthday. You're growing so fast and becoming more beautiful every day. I praise God for His faithfulness for, to me every day as I watch from a distance through the prison walls and see pictures and hear stories of how you're growing both spiritually and physically. Oh, how I long to see you. I know that you question why you pray so many times for my return, and yet I'm not home yet. Now there is a big why in your mind. You're asking why. Jesus isn't answering your prayers and the prayers of all the people around the world praying for my release and for me to be home with you and my family. The answer to the why is who. Who is in control? Jesus Christ is in control. I desire for you to learn important lessons during the, these trying times Lessons that you carry now and for the rest of your life. The answer to the why is who. The confusion of why has all of this happened and why your prayers are not being answered yet is resolved with understanding who is in control. Lord Jesus Christ, our God. God is in control of the whole world and everything that is happening in it is for His good purpose, for His glory and will be worked out for our good, Romans 8, 28. Jesus allows me to be kept here for His glory. He's doing something inside each of us and also outside in the world. People die and suffer for their Christian faith all over the world, and some wonder why. But you should know that the answer of why is who. It is for Jesus. He is worth the price, and He has a plan to be glorified through our life. I want you to read the book of Habakkuk. And he had the same question as you, but see the Lord answered him in Habakkuk 2.3. The vision comes and doesn't delay on time. Wait for it. Mommy and I always had big desires to serve Jesus and had great visions to be used for his kingdom and for his glory. So today we pay a cost because of God because God who created us called us to that. And so I want you to know that the answer to all of your prayers is that God is in control. He knows better than any of us what God is doing in our lives and around the world. Therefore, declare as Daniel and his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did in Daniel 3, 17 and 18, if that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. He will deliver us from your hand, O King. But if not, let it be known to you, O King, that we do not serve your gods, nor will worship the gold image which you've set up. And learn and declare, as Habakkuk did, that even if we do not see the results that we are looking for, God is still good, and we will praise His holy name. Habakkuk 3, 17-19 Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the field yield no fruit, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herds in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet, and He will make me walk on high heels. Then my be dear beloved daughter, Rebecca Grace, I pray that God will bring me back home soon. But if not, we will sing together as Habakkuk did. Hallelujah. Either separated by prison walls or together at home. So let Daddy hear you sing a loud hallelujah that I can hear it all the way here in the prison. I'm so proud of you, my sweet, courageous daughter. Glory to God forever. Amen. Kisses and blessings, Daddy.